Hello guys, welcome to yet another tutorial series. What we'll be discussing today is basically an Arduino clock in which we'll be using an OLED display as a means of displaying the time, real time. I'll also be using this tiny ROTC module. This is another type I have here, but we'll be using this. So we we'll use this because this is directly an I2C compliant. This one also works as well. We'll be using this. So as you can see, the, the terminals, the mesh, you have your ground, you have your ground, you have your VCC, the same thing here. You have your SDA, you have your SCL. So it's the same thing across. So basically what we'll be doing here is wire this up. So right now, I'm just gonna wire it up So ground to ground. Okay. Make that black. So VCC to VCC. Make that red. Do. So right now we need to also connect VCC. Right now we need to also connect VCC and ground to ground of this Arduino Nano. So right here is our ground. So let's just connect this. Okay, let's just do it. Changes for that. Let's connect VCC. Just plus five volts. For this. So let's just find a way to make this a bit neat. Okay, so changes to black. Ground terminal to avoid confusion. Now we will add this all wired up. These three components are wired up correctly right now. Ground, the share common ground and common VCC. So right now, these will also share the same sequence. So I send this SCR to this. And probably green or something okay now let's connect SDA to SDA let's change this to it give it a yellow let's should do it now Sorry about that. I need to connect my power right away. So what we need to do right now, as the final stage of this connection, is connect this SCL and SD to our analog pin four and five. So SD is going to analog pin four. So right now, we need to connect this. Sorry about that. Let's connect analog pin 4 SD now analog pin 5 SCL okay so let's just give them different color and shape them. Okay, great. That 
is it. So our connection is all wired up. So right now, all we need to do is upload our code to this Arduino, power our system up with 5 volts. You can connect the 12 volts to the inputs here, or connect the direct 5 volts to this input here. Probably just use your PC to power it after uploading your code. Leave it on. So right now, our wiring is all done. All we need to do now is to move to the code upload, which we'll be doing in a moment. So right now, this is the code we should be needed we need to upload to our Arduino Nano. So I'll just check, connect our system, and do that right away. Right now, what we have here. Is Come back guys right now what we have here is our wire all connected our system has been wired up just as we have in our circuit diagram earlier now what we need to do basically right now is upload the code to our nano which is already connected to the pc so right now i'm just going to select to make sure our board is properly connected so i don't know nano Atmeg, then the port is some com 9 so everything is all fine so I'll just upload the code so now the code is uploading once the upload is complete we should see an effect on our system There you go. Code upload is completed. Here you go. Our time is working right now. So, if you look at it, this is the current time right now it's having. This is the date. Today's date is 5th December 2021. And if you can look closely, This is it. So basically, our code works, and this is just how you can implement a simple time and date 